These moments were not all fun and games. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another Top 10 Game Show Scandals. You know, John? Yes, we do. <laughs> Doesn't she have pretty nipples, uh, pretty dimples there, Jim? Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're ranking more infamous and scandalous moments that occurred within the world of TV game shows. We're using the term scandal lightly here, since we're looking at moments that elicited discussion, went against the rules, and or were extremely surprising to the hosts, contestants, or audiences. If you don't see your favorite moment on this list, then be sure to check out our first list of the top 10 game show scandals. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Number 10. Name that tune, Pasa Palabra. <laughs> Pasa Palabra is a Spanish game show wherein celebrities team up with everyday people to help them win cash and prizes. Sounds innocent enough, right? Well, a small scandal occurred when it was revealed that one of the guests, model and actress Adriana Abena, had cheated during one of the show's Name That Tune segments. Abena was on fire, but when her legs began to flash and vibrate, it was revealed that she was actually using Shazam to get the answers. With her ruse busted, the scam actually went down well with the studio audience and was mostly laughed off by the show's host as well as by Abena herself. Number 9. To flip-flop or not to flip-flop, the price is right. I'm going home. If you're gonna play the game, then do it the right way. Maybe that's what host Bob Barker should have told this flip-floppy cheater. A contestant named Brenton was tasked with playing flip-flop, a game where the aim is to uncover four digits of an item's price via a series of flipped and flopped squares. Instead of doing this, Brenton decided to just press the button that reveals the item's actual price, effectively nullifying the entire game. No! Barker was not amused with this and wandered off the stage, only to return to give Brenton the prize anyway. There is only one solution to this almost insoluble problem. I'm gonna give you the prize, get off the stage. Number 8. The Lucky Letter, Wheel of Fortune L Uh, one L. Guests on Wheel of Fortune usually spin the wheel a couple of times before attempting to solve the puzzle, but it took this lucky contestant only one letter to guarantee her victory. I've got a good feeling about this. That's right. <laughs> Caitlin Burke used a number of methods to choose her answer including a lot of home play and the knowledge that I've is one of the most common contractions used in a sentence. As a result, with just an L and an apostrophe to go by, Burke solved I've got a good feeling about this, which proved not only to be true, but also to completely stun host Pat Sajak. That's why I just kind of came out with the L, because I was debating whether the first word was I've or I'll, and L just seemed, you know, like a good shot. Number 7. Reading the Signs Millionaire Hot Seat. The Red Room is a 1908 painting by which artist? Khaled al Katetni fancied himself an alpha male and was supremely confident going into his appearance on the Australian version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Katetni won $100,000 during his appearance on Hot Seat, despite not actually knowing any of the answers. Like, you knew that I didn't know this answer. Look, painting? 1908, Vincent Van Gogh, like, it was any later than that. Instead, the contestant read the body language, eyes, and cadence of the show's host, Eddie McGuire. Since this isn't technically cheating, Katetni was allowed to keep his prize, a result that made this already smug Melbourne law student very happy. You've won 100,000. <laughs> Number 6. Getting Gonged – The Gong Show One, two, three, four. Take this job at seven. I ain't here no more. The Gong Show was a cult hit for NBC, but never quite gelled with network executives behind the scenes, thanks largely to the show's chaotic, anything-can-happen atmosphere. Chuck Barris hosted the classic version of The Gong Show from 1976 to 1980 and fit in just fine with the array of everyday people looking for their 15 minutes of fame. 
It was after the daytime version of the show was canceled when Barris really let NBC know what he thought of them, however, singing Take This Job and Shove It during the show's finale and flipping a censored bird to the camera. You better not stand in the way when I go walking through that door. Number 5. Rigged for Kids Our Little Genius so very smart adults are about to feel really stupid. It'd be difficult to answer this question. Oh, come on. This game show found itself in hot water right from the get-go. Our Little Genius was a kids' quiz show that was supposed to debut on Fox in 2010, with comedian Kevin Pollack serving as host. However, producer Mark Burnett had the show postponed a week before it was scheduled to air, thanks to two separate accusations of contestants being given advanced knowledge of topics. Although answers were not provided, Questions and themes were reportedly discussed at length with both parents and kids, resulting in Our Little Genius being canceled without airing a single episode. Number 4. Marriage for Money – The Moment of Truth Do you believe I'm the man you should be married to? How willing would you be to answer intensely personal questions in front of a television audience while attached to a polygraph machine? Well, Fox gave it a go, and the results were as cringeworthy as you would imagine. Case in point, the marriage of Lauren and Frank Cleary, which was ruined when Lauren's ex-boyfriend Frank Nardi Jr. came into the picture. This is your ex-boyfriend Frank. <laughs> Lauren admitted that she'd cheated on her husband, and answered positively to her ex's question of do you think I am the man you should be married to? Adding insult to injury, Lauren's final game tally was zero. Balls. Number 3. Beaten down for a car, Machina. A moment of shocking violence erupted on the set of this Russian game show. Based around the classic touch the truck type of competition, one female contestant got more than she bargained for and less than she hoped for. Behaving irrationally throughout and wearing a thong bikini, when she twirled her stiletto at a nearby male player, things turned nasty. His response afterwards was quick and disturbing, as he let go of the car, hurled her to the ground, and bloodied her face. It's graphic, troubling, and difficult to watch. Number 2. Spotlight on a Murderer – Bullseye John Cooper didn't walk away from Bullseye a winner, but eventually his brief shot at glory was a major win for the British public. Unknown at the time, Cooper was already a two-time murderer, having killed a brother and sister in 1985 and killing Peter and Gwenda Dixon a month after his game show strikeout. They're using me to clear old crimes. It shouldn't be allowed. In 1998, Cooper was convicted of a string of robberies and served 10 years in prison. However, soon after his release, police investigated a murder cold case, which, through advanced forensic science, DNA, and his bullseye footage, they were able to pin on him. Cooper was arrested soon after and convicted in 2011. This wasn't just a robbery for gain. It was an act of a psychopath. Number one. The Popsicle Twins, The Gong Show. Here comes Have You Got a Nickel! <laughs> the Gong Show returns, this time with one of the strangest and most surreal game show moments of all time. The so called Popsicle Twins were a duo of young women whose act was titled Have You Got a Nickel? Their segment was initially only aired on the East Coast before being pulled, when it was noticed that the simple act of enjoying an ice lolly was a bit more suggestive and loaded than it first appeared. Score-wise, the act was a dud, with only J.P. Morgan picking up what the girls were laying down, and TV's clinger Jamie Farr awarding it a mere two points. Jamie Farr. I don't think they give a lick. Uh, <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? 